Welcome members, this is Brandon Judd responding to a video analysis request uploaded by user Kayleon Cheese. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that terribly, but uh, it's the best I can do. Uh, so this is on a hillside back roll attempt. Um, and uh, this is the uh, Mexican version of that heelside back roll. And for those just catching up or who are unfamiliar with uh, Mexican back rolls, it's the same trick as a heelside back roll. Uh, but the rotation, the flipping direction is, is a little different. Um, so a lot of people try and make the Mexican back roll a very different trick than the heel side back roll, and it's, it's not. It's just a different style of back roll uh, with a slightly different angle of rotation. It changes your line tension up a little bit and uh, makes it function a little different, uh, but it's not a completely separate and different trick. Uh, sometimes they kind of blend together. Uh, so with that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the issues that you're experiencing here. Um, the first one is that you, and this is common with this trick, is that you're taking your upper body and really diving forward, and at the same time, you're, you're driving your heels behind you. You're really pushing this board out behind you, um, which is kind of a, the opposite of what you need to do. You need to be holding your board in place in uh in between you and the pressure of the water. So if you were doing it properly, I would see the bottom graphics of your board here uh, because the water would then have something to push against to push you up into the air. Most people get really anxious when they're first learning these and uh, they drive their heels out behind them and they are the ones, like the rider is the one that pushes the board behind them. Uh, where that shouldn't be the case, the water pressure here, the pressure from the water should be what pushes your board behind you. And you should be resisting that all the way until the top of the wake. So let me show you an example. So here's a, a Mexican heelside back roll by Mike McLinn. And uh, if you look at the bottom graphics of his board, you'll see that he's still on edge. His board is in the water still, and he's at the same part of the rotation uh, that you are here. But you'll notice that this green edge and the black top sheet there is uh, the, showing the top of the board meaning that the board is already behind you um, at this point, which means that you've lost a lot of the energy that the wake could have pushed against your board. Uh, whereas Mike, he was able to harness every bit of, of push from the wake to help pro project him up into the air. Um, and just so you see the differences between a heel side back roll and a progressive back roll, uh, the traditional style. Um, so here's a, a shot of of Kyle Schmidt in a progressive back roll that's more cartwheel style um, instead of like a front flip. Um, but uh, you'll notice if I put him in the same position as, uh, as you and Mike, you'll still see the bottom of his board. Um, so whether or not you're doing a heel side back roll or a you know, Mexican style heel side back roll, both of the tricks start off in relatively the same position. Um, and where you're, go where you're going wrong, where your trick has gone wrong, is uh, you're trying to make the flip portion happen before you even take off of the water, which is a common issue, especially if you're trying to go one wake real slow like this. So our advice is to keep the bottom of your board pushing against the wake all the way through the wake. So you just don't want to make the flip happen. The pressure from the water is going to do that for you. Um, so another thing I want you to look at is this uh, this video heelside sorry Mexican heelside back roll troubleshooting. This goes over the differences between uh, the Mexican back roll and the traditional progressive back roll, and then issues that people typically have when they're trying to do the Mexican version of it. Um, one of those issues being the rotation direction um, instead of like that. Um, nice front flipping kind of rotation. They'll chop the rope like uh, Amber does here. Um, if I, let me go back to that real quick. So you'll notice that uh, Mike is able to have his board go around him nice and easy there. And then when Amber does hers, she comes forward too much and then the board comes around and almost chops the rope uh, right here. So you'll see that this heel side edge of the board is going to come on top of the rope, which prevents her from keeping the handle in her hand, um, as it kind of points out here. 
So this is really what's happening in the air with you. Uh, so I'd watch this video, hillside, uh, Mexican hillside back roll troubleshooting. And uh, that's going to go through all the issues that you're experiencing and, uh, and everything. Because you're pretty textbook once you're in the air of this issue. So this rotational issue just needs to change a little uh, to better reflect this uh, kind of sideways flipping barrel roll style instead of uh, the cartwheel style. Um, so that's pretty much it there. But uh, let's, uh, let's look at another one of these and just show you just how close it is to that one that we showed you of Amber. I believe it's this one if I can get it right. Yeah, see how you just chopped the rope there? Um, it's, uh, I think there's an, another one here that's even better. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, if you had held on to the rope here, um, if you're trying to hold on, your heel side edge would have popped it out of your hands regardless. Um, so you're getting back to your board, which is great. Uh, you just can't throw your chest forward toward the boat, and uh, that's what's killing that. So you want to sort of let the boat see your leading shoulder and leading hip a little more and rotate around the rope a little better. Um, kind of like Mike does here. So we'll take one more look at this. So you'll see as Mike comes into the wake, um, everything is going to be pretty similar to a progressive back roll. He gives a lot of a push with his legs, and then watch how you can see his leading hip and leading shoulder and kind of this side of his face the whole time. Um, he tucks his head down this way, and then it allows his board and body to rotate and pivot right around the handle as the central... <clears throat> central part of it all. So right here, because of that changing, his heel side edge is away from that uh, that rope, so it's not going to chop it off. Um, and then you can land comfortably. So that's about it. Looks like you're taking the right steps, uh, doing some one wake versions to kind of keep the impact low at 19 miles an hour, um, as you mentioned down here in the description. Uh, but uh, looks like you're ready to start uh, landing some of these. So just change that flipping direction and don't flip so early. You want to hold that edge all the way through the wake. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can hit us up down here in the comments section. Um, or you can uh, improve your attempts and uh, upload another video. Thanks again.